Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville YouTube channel. I've done a few Bonanza, Bonanza.com videos in the past showing you how to list items on Bonanza or just how to use Bonanza in general. And since I've made those videos, I've had a lot of people ask questions about getting a premium membership on Banana, Bonanza's, Bananas, Bonanza's website. <laughs> And it's something I would strongly discourage anyone from doing. Um, I have done these Bonanza videos because it is a platform to sell on. And in general, it is free. It is free to list. You only get charged when an item sells. So in my eyes, it's something that can't hurt you but could help you. I believe in diversifying your resale business. And I think it can be an important part of your sales mix. Um, if you get on Bonanza and are thinking of closing your eBay account or not selling on Amazon anymore and just doing Bonanza, you will be, um, you will regret it very much so. It's not uh, the path you want to take. So a lot of people have asked me about these premium Bonanza memberships. And if you look at the prices, I'm on the screen here for if you pay uh, monthly, and the cheapest one is their silver package, which is $10 per month. And you don't really get much out of it. If you look at the chart here, all the check marks are way to the left there. The first thing you get here is selling digital goods. And I think that's something new with Bonanza. They sent out an email about a month ago saying that they came out with a new feature where if you list digital goods on Bonanza, uh, when the item sells, they will automatically email, I'm assuming the file or whatever the digital item is, to the purchaser. So in that instance, if you're selling digital goods, maybe this is something for you. I don't know if a free account has any digital goods, but that's going to be your first uh, benefit from this one, from this package. But then, okay, you get a profile badge. means absolutely nothing to nobody. No one cares. Uh, background burns I don't even know what that is I know they were promoting it back when I first got on the site about a year ago but who knows what that is Google Analytics who cares they give you a basic how many views and how many clicks an item gets and you get that for free uh, the daily sync with eBay would probably be one of the most beneficial things their sync program at the moment updates every one to three days which really sucks for someone who sells um, at a decent volume because I've had several times now where an item sold on eBay and then the next day or two days later sold on Bonanza and then I have to give the Bonanza seller or buyer a refund through PayPal because the item was already sold and it makes you look like an idiot when um, it was really just Bonanza's, uh, I don't know. It's such a pain that they make you pay for a daily sync to in, uh, eBay inventory. Um, booth featuring, eligibility to be a featured booth, who cares? The thing is, here, they're, uh, they're advertising being a featured booth. Bonanza is not a destination website. Nobody goes to Bonanza to purchase items. What they do is they do a Google search, and they go through Google Shopping, or they go through Yahoo, or they go through Bing, or they go through whatever search engine, and Bonanza listings may just happen to show up, and then they get to Bonanza. Of the somewhere near a hundred sales I've had on Bonanza in about a year not one not one was an existing Bonanza member every single person had signed up the day they bought my item so nobody goes to Bonanza that's the problem with it they don't have a niche they um, they advertise everything but the ordinary or something is their slogan well that's nice except now you've just created a marketplace where you don't have a niche. I mean, you're, you're eBay without the clout, you know. So that's Bonanza's problem. And that's why you can't rely on it heavily. And that's why I don't think you should pay for a monthly subscription because you're not going to get your money back. You're better off getting an eBay store or well, let's finish off these little features for the smallest store. Uh, turn off Amazon reviews. Why would you want to do that? If you're selling a decent product, you would prefer the reviews to be on there. The only problem is they are also <laughs> encouraging people to buy the item on Amazon instead of buying it from you. But here's the secret. If Bonanza, the website, is an Amazon affiliate, they're probably getting paid more 
to redirect customers to Amazon and getting that commission than what they're charging you in fees. And that's why they want the reviews on there. But if you have a decent item, it's not a big deal. You're just now you're competing with Amazon if people end up clicking on the link. Um, text message notifications on buyers questions or offers again stupid how many people have smartphones you'd get the email right away anyways um, inventory tracker be able to print your inventory it's just I don't know to me there's no value here at all uh, if you look at like the platinum package you're up to 50 bucks a month for forty dollars a month you can be an Amazon pro merchant and you will get so many more sales than what Bonanza can offer so you know, I don't want to seem like uh, an advocate for Bonanza that's this great website and, um, you know, it's going to solve all your resale problems because that's not what it is. But like I said earlier, it is something you should add to your sales mix. It is generally free until you sell something. It's just uh, it's not worth these platinum, gold, whatever packages. So that is my advice for that since I have had a lot of questions about um upgrading to a paid account so thanks for watching guys if you're not already a subscriber subscribe to the channel if you are interested in bonanza check out my other bonanza videos because i do have some that show you how to list um, and a few other videos on bonanza so you can check that out thanks guys